welcome to Learning Mole. Today we are thinking about STEAM or STEM challenges. Now the boys don't know what challenge I'm about to give them, but this one, it's a really great challenge for problem solving, engineering, thinking about mathematical language like that of comparison and just a really lovely challenge that really stems and um, that uh, really stimulates that creativity as well. So I've given them both 12 straws each. Now these are bendy straws so you can do whatever you want with them. If you want to make them bendy you can or if you want to have them straight you can. And you've each got a roll of sellotape. Now for the purpose of the video I've actually started cutting sellotape but generally I'd actually leave this to the children and let them sort their own sellotape and everything out but we could be here for a while if, uh, if I leave them to that and what I'm going to ask them to do is I want them to with their straws make uh, the to who to see who can make the tallest tower and it has to be able to stand so do you think if you stick them together like this it will be the tallest tower and it will stand no, no. so they're going to have to really think about this strategically and think about how they can make it tall without making it topple over. Now you can set whatever challenge you want. You might just want them to make a tower. You might want them to make a shape. You might want to make whatever you want, but it's just a really lovely free style creativity activity um, that doesn't require loads of resources because I know there's lovely, loads of lovely STEM resources out there, but sometimes you just want to do something on a Saturday afternoon that's really going to stem their creativity, really stimulate them, but you don't need to go out and spend a lot of money. And this is the sort of activity that's perfect for that. So I'm going to ask you boys to start. I'm going to help them and do feel free to step in and help them. You don't need to just go away and leave them to it. I'm going to help you, but we'll see who is going to be have the challenge of the biggest tallest tower at the end and let's see what it's going to look like so off you go right so where are you going to start iron what do you think hmm. Hmm. okay no, you, that, well, that. you can do it too it doesn't matter you both can do it now you can stick bits to sellotape you can stick bits of straws together with stra with sellotape if you want it's up to you stick it. okay <laughs> sneaky <laughs> Also, really, really good skill for fine, uh, really, really, really good activity for fine motor skills, and just all that lovely idea of sturdiness and stableness and balance. All of this lovely language comes into it. And do chat to your child and ask them what they're doing. Why have them have a good chat with them as they're as they're doing it? So why have you got two there together, James? Yes. So it can stand properly if they didn't have two. It wouldn't be standing enough. Okay, it wouldn't be standing enough. What about you, Aaron? I'm building like this. You're building like that. Okay, so it's interesting. So you've only got one, but James has got two. So it'll be interesting to see which one's going to be the sturdiest one. Now I'm going to be testing these towers. So okay. there might be some wind tests to see if they get knocked over in the wind. There might be some weight tests to see. Okay, it's looking good. All right, keep going. Let's see who's going to be the tallest. I think it needs a bit more sturdy. And it needs to be a sturdy. Mm, so you're having to think you might readapt yours a wee bit, Aaron. Are you going to change yours around? Mm. Mm. Well, it's great that re evaluation. Aaron's already made the assumption that no, I actually need to do something to change mine. And that's all that lovely richness that you want to get from the activity like this. Would you like some help? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let well, we just cut it with scissors, will we? Do what, is it you want them separated? Yeah, I want them separated. Uh, and I... Mm. There we go. And uh, this one. I got it. Looks interesting, James. What's going to happen with a wee bit of wind blows on it, though? 
So as I say, do set whatever challenge you want. So it could be the tallest tower, the strongest tower. Um, you could actually have them. You could they have to hold something up. Really, whatever way your imagination takes you. But it's just a really fun, free style activity, which I love. I just love letting them so think about what they bit. want. Oh, it's like the leaning tower of Pisa. <laughs> yeah. but, but the difference is, it might, it's probably going to fall. Oh, I hope it's not going to fall. Maybe they'll be squished. What do you think? How do you think you're going to sort this out, James? Because it's starting to really bend over. You do the same on the other side. Mm, well, let's see. Now you're adding more weight to it. So what do you think that's going to make happen? If you're adding more weight to the top, what do you think is going to, what effect is that going to have on it? Make it weaker. Mm, what do you mean weaker? It means weaker from the wind. The wind will blow it down. Yeah, it will. Yeah. And do have these discussions with your child as you're going through. Cause it's, it just ah. amazes me every time I do this, that the towers just always look so, so different. Ah, something's happened. Why? So how are you going to fix this, James? Uh, Remember we talked right. about more weight? What do you I think you're going to have to add more weight? Oh! <laughs> <laughs>just put the finishing touches to our towers and I think G Aaron's might be slightly taller but great to see that they totally went for different designs different base shapes in the middle James lent right over onto the table so we had to readjust Aaron's did the same and he had to readjust and it was a really good experience for talking about fixing things and redesigning and thinking about different ways of approaching the situation and how to fix a problem. So we had loads of fun with that. We really enjoyed the challenge of making the tallest tower, but it doesn't have to be a challenge, especially if your child doesn't like that element of competition. It can be the strongest tower, the tallest tower, the most inventive tower, anything you really want. And just the idea of it is, is to really introduce that idea of problem solving, thinking about when it doesn't go well, how can they actually fix it, and just all that lovely chat that goes in between. So we had loads of fun, guys, didn't we? Yeah. Aaron is our resident winner for today. <laughs> um, don't know if they'll stand the test of time and if a, a volcano or a hurricane comes, I don't know if they'll manage to, to withstand, but um, you know, we had lots of fun and... There's very, very little um, resources that you need to have a lovely, fun afternoon and a nice, fun activity. <laughs>